Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. Here we go. We are just coming off another date with Michelle. The last episode, we tried to go to the strip club. We ended up getting into a fight and getting kicked out. And um, we wanted to go to another strip club with Michelle, but it was actually just kind of like a... Uh, a what's it called? Like a, a show club, I guess you could say. I don't know. It was kind of weird. It was a very odd show, but it was fun nonetheless. And now we're heading back to see what Roman is up to. Wait for these cops to go away. Deal was all about stopping you smelling. No longer. Using unique pheromonal cybernology, the horde cannot be stopped. If it doesn't work, spray her in the face. Our unique ether compound will have the desired effect. Oops. The horn is not a date rape. The horn. <laughs> You guys listen to this commercial? It's like a, a spray that makes women horny. All right, here we go. Uncle Vlad. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No, I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this war dog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikopelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait, don't do anything stupid, wait for me! Alright, it's time to go handle business, baby. Vlad's been begging our boy's chick. Right, let's go with Roman and look for Vlad and comrades. Don't do anything stupid, cousin! Nothing is stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens! I we have an open relationship. I do my thing, she does hers, and maybe next time I might watch them at it. Oh, don't watch this fat Harry sweaty back. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Shit's about to get real, son. Give it a Anyway, I go for capusto. Зачем нужно жрать капусту, если есть картошка? Картошка! Bloody boy! I like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Why? I told you to stay away from Mallory. Go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. Excuse me. Do you think I give a fuck, peasant? Oh, there he is. Hey, Fatty, I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking ho. <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we just talk about this? <laughs> you stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Now, get them out of here. Come on, come on. It's time to fight, baby. Get back outside, I'll Roman. <laughs> Woo! Guess we aren't fighting, we're just shooting. Popping shots. Let's go chase after him. We're both going after him, Roman. Alright, he's running away. We win. Let's go home. I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished. He's running. We won't see him again. He'll come back. The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change. And, you know, when Vlad is done with her, throw a fucking spine. You think Vlad will come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit. I don't like this. Shh. 
shit! Oh my gosh, that was close. What was up with these big ass buses and semi trucks cutting people off? Life crashes cars trying to sleep on foot. Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop, Nico! Shit! You killed yourself. Fucking Yokel. You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out. You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha. I'm throwing your life away, prick. We'll do all right. My friends will track you down. You won't last a moment. I'll last longer than you will, shithead. Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls up. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yoko. You are dead man. Mikhail Fausti thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge. Form an execution, you're lock on him and fire. When locked on the reticle of flash, an execution can be performed. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Half Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. Damn, dude. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Holy shit. All over a girl? You just straight up executed him like that? Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Nico! Nico. Ah. Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm, you halted the jump! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! Shit! <sighs> when I was in the army, we were going on a mission. To ambush a squad would kill a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup. For money. Twelve people died. Three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago? And you don't care whose life you ruin anyway. No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. <sighs> if you're fast, then he's going to kill us. <sighs> Shit. We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. <sighs> Good stuff, baby. All right, so that that solves that problem there. That ties up that loose end. Occasionally calling a contact to find out what to do will open up snares earlier than if we'd be called. You can try calling Roman. All right. We've done that before. Nico! Nico! Are you there, cousin? Roman, I'm here. What are you doing? Why do you whisper? I am on Pesto Street. The Paris Rico. Come, Nico, quick! Uh-oh. Sounds like he's in trouble. Couldn't set our waypoint. Let's do it. 
We still gotta get back to the strip club, man. It's been uh, been a hot minute. Tried to go there a couple episodes ago and it didn't work out. So we're gonna have to maybe after uh, this. We're done with the missions with them. Maybe we can take them out just for fun. Don't let, don't make me late to school. You look a little bit old for school, bro. Ooh. What is this thing? It's a Corvette. Don't try to be a tough guy. Hell yeah. Here we are. Crime and punishment. Where are you, Roman? Yes. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man. I'm freaking out, man. I'm being followed. I saw them. Don't be ridiculous. You're being paranoid. I'm be... Fuck you. Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead. Because Felston is a psychopath. He's going to kill us, because we killed Vlad. Vlad was his man. That's how it works. You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man. Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Oh, shit! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, fatty. The boss wants a little chat. With an AK-47, dude. Holy crap. 